Hi teachers, it's Robin from Glow Yoga Kids and I'm here today to first of all thank you for all of the amazing things that you've been doing. Um, this has been a really, really hard time for a lot of people, but not more hard than for you guys, our amazing, incredible teachers that have been supporting children in and in school and online. It's been really, really remarkable. So I'm here today to share with you a quick chair yoga sequence that you can use in your classroom to kind of break up the day a little bit, some a little movement break in between classes. This amazing chair sequence works perfectly for children to do in their desks, socially distanced, um, in their chairs just normally. Um, so it's a really great way to uh, continue along with the COVID measures while also still getting that movement piece and that mindfulness piece um, in the classroom. So I'm gonna go through the sequence really quick. I'm also gonna share one breathing technique. And then if you'd like to learn more about our chair yoga sequencing, both in person and online, feel free to reach out to us at www.glowyogakids.com or info at glowyogakids.com. All right, so we're gonna move on into the chair sequence. So for this, you wanna make sure that your students have their feet flat on the floor. So inside of their chair, whether they need to come a little bit forward on the chair, that's okay. Just making sure that your knees are bent and your feet are nice and flat. We're gonna start out with just a couple of breaths, reaching our arms up and out. And up and out. Nice. Now this first part, we're just gonna use a little stretch of the neck. So you can bring your right hand down to the side of your chair. You're gonna use your left hand to draw your neck over to the left side. Swapping sides, bringing your left hand down to the side of your chair, using your right hand to draw your neck over to the right side. Nice. We're going to do something a little bit similar. We're going to use our right hand again on the side of our chair. Your left arm is going to come up above your head, and you're going to lean over towards the right side, bending at the elbow on the right arm, and taking a nice little side stretch. And then you can swap, bringing your left arm down, right arm over top, giving that nice little side stretch. Perfect. Now this next part is a little bit of a, a stretch for our shoulders. In, in yoga, we call it eagle arms, and it's almost like making your arms into a bit of a pretzel. So you can start with both arms, just uh, palms facing each other and arms parallel to one another. You're gonna bring your right arm underneath your left elbow, and some people will just be here with your hands, back of hands touching. Otherwise, you can wrap it around one more time to have your palms touching. Draw your elbows up towards your shoulders, and it's gonna be a nice stretch for the back of the shoulder blades. You can swap sides, so now your left arm will come underneath your right, and again, lifting up those shoulders, and you should feel that nice stretch just on the outside of your shoulders here. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna do a little bit of a back stretch. So you're gonna come a little bit more forward onto your chair. You're gonna use your hands onto the back side of your chair. You're gonna lean or push your chest forward and lean your body back, dropping your head, taking a nice little back bend. And then forward, nice. And then when you come all the way forward, you can drop yourself down into a chair forward fold. So basically your hands are gonna come down as far as you can go. For most, it'll be maybe knees, some it'll be all the way to the ground, and you can let your head drop nice and low and hang heavy. Coming all the way up, we're gonna do a little bouncing on our bums, on our chairs. So I'm just gonna turn my chair so that you can see me fully. For this one, you want to be a little further back in your chair because you're going to balance onto your butt. So we're going to lift our feet off of the ground, and then you have the choice of grabbing the backs of your knees and coming up about halfway, or if your students are super flexy, then you can go all the way straightening the legs as well. Perfect. All right, now we're going to do a little bit of a twist. So again, it's good that I'm on the side so that you can see. You're going to bring both hands to the side of your chair, and you're going to twist all the way over to that side, gazing over your shoulder. Nice. You can do it on the opposite side. Reach your arms over and gaze over the opposite shoulder. Now you and your students might notice that each side is a little bit different as far as tightness. And the more that you work with the side that's tighter, the more loose and more relaxed it will become. We're going to now do a little bit of a cross-body side stretch, which helps, which helps to get both our left and right brains moving and working. Helps for laying foundations for math and science concepts. Um, is kind of that cross-body stuff that we're going to be working with. 
Um, so this one is a crossbody leg stretch. So you're gonna use your left hand to start. You're gonna grab the outside of your right foot and you're gonna draw that leg across the body. Your right hand is then going to go out behind you and you're gonna gaze over that right shoulder. Perfect. Once you're ready, you can release those. We'll do it on the opposite side. So your right hand is going to come to the outside of your left foot. You're going to stretch it across your body. You're going to open up your left hand and gaze over that left shoulder. Then release. We're going to do a, another bit of a leg stretch. This is more for our hamstrings. For this one, you might want to come a little bit forward onto your chair, just so that it's really nice and comfy, just kind of on the edge. You're gonna keep one knee bent and your other leg is gonna straighten out. Back up a little bit so you can see more. So your other leg is gonna straighten out so that your heel comes down to the ground. You're gonna point your toes up to the sky. Then you can choose where you want your hands to go. So if you can lean forward and reach for your knee, that's great. If you can reach all the way forward and grab the, the foot, then that's gonna be an even bigger stretch. You're really gonna feel it in the back of the leg. Don't forget the other side. Nice. And then to cap that one off, we're gonna bring both heels to the ground and we're gonna lay all the way across them. Reaching down for your toes or your legs, whichever feels the most comfortable. Amazing. Now I'm gonna turn my chair back to the center because we're just gonna finish off with a couple of uh, lunge poses on our chair. Um, but before we get into that, I wanted to share with you guys a breathing technique, something that is really great for bringing children back into that parasympathetic nervous system. Now with COVID and all of the craziness and the constant stress that we've been feeling, just not really sure of the future, is hitting our kids hard. I mean, it's hitting us hard, it's hitting them even harder. And so teaching them this breathing technique is gonna help to turn on that parasympathetic nervous system and get them feeling nice and relaxed and able to learn more effectively. So this is called a belly breath, and there's two ways that you can do it. So we're gonna start, we're gonna put two hands onto our belly. We're gonna take a new, nice big smell through our nose and fill your belly with air like this. Then when you breathe out, you're gonna make your belly fall flat. You're gonna breathe out through your mouth. Nice. Now for the little bit of older kids that can actually lengthen out their inhales and exhales, you can attach a number to this breathing technique. So you can breathe in for a count of two, let's say, and then you wanna extend your exhale. So you breathe out for a count of four. So we're gonna try that. We're gonna breathe in for two, and breathe out for four. These lengthened exhales are really gonna drop the body down into that calm, calm space and help your children to relax even more. Now, depending on how advanced your children get or the longer that they work with this breathing technique, the more time that they can breathe in and out. Um, a four inhale and an eight exhale, or even more than that, depending on the kids that you're working with. All right, we're gonna move into our last couple of poses. This is a lunge pose. If you have handles on your chair, that's okay. You can slide your legs underneath the handles, just depending on the size of them. Mine doesn't have it, so I'm just gonna show you how it looks. You're basically gonna turn to the side on your chair. You're gonna bring your right foot flat to the ground like we did before with our knee bent, except this time, you're gonna draw your left leg back. The front of the left hip is gonna rest on the chair, and you're gonna be in that bit of a lunge pose. So the toes on the left foot, you can't see mine, but they're gonna be on the ground. You're gonna have your heel pointing to the back of the room and you're gonna gaze forward. Now children and yourself should feel this in your lower back a little bit. You're gonna have a little bit of a back bend. We're gonna reach up our arms, take a nice big smell. Nice, and then we're gonna just do a little back bend. So you can bring one arm behind your back to grab a hold of your chair, and the opposite arm is just gonna lean back. Beautiful. Now again, if you're moving on to the opposite side, you're just gonna shift your body forward to bring those legs nice and wide, and then you're gonna turn over to the other side. So your right hip, front of right hip will be on the top. Left knee is bent. Again, you can start with the arms up, breathe in. Right arm behind the back, left arm goes all the way up, leaning back. And forward. Nice, now you can come back through the center, make those knees nice and wide. We're gonna take one last big breath. And this one, we're gonna get all of our wiggles out. We're gonna go ha! Nice, try one more time. 
Amazing job, you guys. Again, thank you so much for all that you do. I hope you enjoyed this chair yoga sequence. If you want to learn more, don't forget to reach out. Have a great day, you guys.